In this video, I'm going to share with you seven ways to increase your earnings by selling your music on royalty-free libraries. Tip number one, join non-exclusive libraries. The reason why is because you're going to have the same music track on multiple marketplaces and they're going to be selling at the same price, hopefully, and more about pricing later on. But the same music track is going to be on Audio Jungle and on Pond5 and that way you can maximize your earnings. Tip number two, do multiple edits of your music track. These edits are as follow, 60 second, 30 second, and 15 seconds edits of your music track. And it goes even further, a bumper and a stinger. When you do these edits, you are increasing the value of your files, and not only that, the client is more inclined to buy your music because they are in need of this standard edit. Now, when you do these edits, you can sell them on libraries like Pond5 as individual files, and that increases the earning potential for you. I sell more edits on Pond5 than I sell full versions of my music track. So that's a very important tip. Do multiple edits so you can increase your earnings, especially on a library like Pond5. Now, what's the difference between Pond5 and Audio Jungle when it comes down to these edits? Well, quite clearly, on Audio Jungle, you cannot sell them as individual files, but you're offering the client more value because when they buy the track for one price and they have multiple different uh, edits, they are more inclined to buy that track. But on Pond5, you can sell those individual files that you have already done them as individual files, okay? Those edits are going to be sold as individual files on Pond5. Tip number three, get a helper. Here I have my uh, co-producer, Melina. I'm joking. It's a joke. Don't get a helper. Tip number three, compose happy music. Happy music sells. It's a fact. Music licensing, in general, they rely a lot on happy music, feel-good music, inspirational music, uplifting music, okay? If you don't like to compose happy music, that's fine. But all I'm trying to say here is that if you want to increase your earnings, you need to learn how to write happy music. So this is a topic that is really hard for a lot of newcomers when it comes down to music licensing, especially for royalty-free libraries like Pond5 and Audio Jungle. You need to compose happy music. Happy music sells. The hardest music to sell is sad music. Tip number four, diversify your music. Tip number three is, yes, compose happy music, but you need to diversify your music. What do I mean by that? I mean that if you compose on a hip hop type of genre, or you're composing in a, in a rock style of music, and that's what you specialize on, you need to learn how to compose a cinematic music. So I'll use myself as an example. I'm a guitarist, so I compose a lot of guitar-oriented music tracks, but that doesn't mean that I'm not gonna start uh, venturing in different styles of music that is not mainly guitar-oriented. So for example, Lately, I've been composing a lot of uh, cinematic tracks and seeing some success with that, something that is out of my comfort zone. And I know very well that if I have a portfolio that is really diverse in different genres and different styles, it's going to be increasing my sales for sure. I usually preach that you need to focus on your strength, and that is true, especially in the beginning. You need to know what you're good at. Okay, you need to know your identity. You need to know what your voice is in the marketplace. For me, as a guitarist, I know what my strengths are, and I know that I can go out there and just showcase not only my best work when it comes down to guitar composition, but at the same time, I have a really strong sense of identity as a composer and know where can I rely in order to compose the best music track that I can possibly make while I'm still learning to compose in different styles and different genres like cinematic music, like I mentioned. But this is, uh, I'm only venturing into different styles and diversifying my portfolio after I have really nailed down my genre, my niche. What's that music that I actually compose the best? In my case, it's guitar-oriented music tracks. And I specialize in a lot of acoustic uh, work. I don't use uh, VSTs. I don't use any samples when it comes down to my compositions for guitar. All of my guitar tracks are being composed by me playing the guitar. So if I'm composing an acoustic track, it's literally an old-fashioned microphone in front of the guitar, the acoustic guitar, and me playing it. And I go as far as to having long nails. I don't know if you can see them, but that's who I am. I'm a guitar player, okay? And I'm a guitarist. And more specifically, I like to write music with an acoustic guitar. I like to play rock music as well because I do come from a rock and roll background, but at the end of the day, it's just me and my acoustic guitar. And always try to compose in a music genre that you might not be that good, 
but really learn that style and see how can you implement that in your writing process and grow your catalog and hence you will earn more. Tip number five, make sure that you have your tax information in the libraries correctly, okay? I received an email quite recently about tax treaty between the US and certain other countries. In some countries, they don't have a tax treaty. And even though if their countries have a tax treaty, you can still be uh, having some tax withhold or some withholding tax from your sales on royalty-free libraries like Audio Django. Now, what does this mean? <laughs> and by the way, I'm no tax expert, but I know enough about tax when it comes down to selling music online. If you are a foreigner, meaning that you're not a U.S. citizen or a U.S. person, you fill up a form that is called the W-8-BEN. And this is a form that you fill up online, and it's just about you showing who you are, where you live, what country are you from, and where are you currently living. This is very important. Don't ignore this uh, important piece of the puzzle, filling up your information when it comes down to tax information when you're selling music on royalty-free libraries. If you do not fill up this form, regardless of where you live in the world, you could be up to, it could be up to 30% of tax withholding from your sales. Tip number six, price your music at a higher price point. If you don't do this, you're gonna earn less per sales and hence your income is gonna be lower. I have talked a lot about how I price my tracks on all libraries whenever it's possible because some libraries don't allow you to price your own music. But whenever I have the chance to upload my music to a library where, I, where it's allowed to price my tracks, I usually go for the $47 and $49 mark. That's a higher price point. And then again, it's not even a higher price point. It's just that's the price of a music track, okay? Libraries like Pond5 and Audio Jungle, they recommend you price your tracks around $20 and $15. I disagree with that. And I have sold my tracks at $47 every day, or almost every day, on libraries like Pond5 and Audio Jungle, but specifically on Pond5, actually. And it gets even better. I sell my edits, the edits that I talk on tip number two, I sell my edits, all of them, at the same price as the full track, meaning that my edits for a 15 second edit or a stinger, which is a seven second edit of my original version of that music track, is sold for $47.97. So the client is more than happy to pay that money for a seven second file, seven second piece of music, okay? I have shared this on many of my videos, and I quite recently actually sold a Christmas bumper, which is 11 seconds of music, for $47, okay? And it's not even my music, it's an arrangement of a Christmas carol, all right? So that shows you that you will earn a lot more if you price your music track at a higher price point. I quite recently received as well an email from one of my uh, students that she just made her first sale. It's the biggest takings that she has had for, for one music sale. And that's the whole point here. If you want to increase your earnings, you need to start pricing your music track as high as possible. I recommend the $50 mark, $47, $49 mark. There are other libraries, though, that they will sell your music tracks for $2 or $4. So whenever you have the chance to actually price your music track, make sure that you price at a higher price point. Because other libraries, they might be exclusively a subscription-based uh, library, and there's nothing you can do about it. But you're still going to be selling there, but the sales or the downloads will be very little per, per download. You will be earning $4, $8, uh, sometimes $10 if you're lucky, all right? But when you sell on a library like Pond5 or Audio Jungle, make sure that you position yourself at a higher price point so you can earn more per sale. And finally, tip number seven, share your music on social media, create a YouTube channel, uh, create anything out there so you can create awareness of who you are, what you do, and what you specialize on. I recommend to be actively on social media or a YouTube channel so you can show the client or the customer or future potential customers that are going to buy your music to see what you're doing. Uh, create a SoundCloud account, uh, create a website, anything to create awareness about your music and what you actually do. This is crucial. We live in an online world today. So if you don't have an online presence beyond your catalog or beyond your portfolio on Audio Jungle and Pond5, then you're missing out. This costs nothing for you to have a website. Well, it costs very little to have a website and a domain name and all of this, but you can create a SoundCloud account for free. You can create a YouTube channel for free and just share your music 
and create awareness of what you're doing. I hope these seven tips are helpful to you. If you happen to be somebody that is new to music licensing or to royalty-free libraries like Pawn5 and Audio Jungle, I have created a free music licensing workshop where I teach you how to earn between $500 and $1,000 per month selling your music online. Link in the description so you can watch that free workshop. And as always, rock and roll, and here's to your success.